welcome to Rivan's Toys. And today I want to show you my awesome lightsabers. And I'm also going to play the tutorial on this one. So, I'll start on Count Dooku's. Count Dooku is a Sith Lord. Sith people or people of the Sith are evil. So, this was his lightsaber. I couldn't find any more 2x2 two two bricks, so I just put this slope. And this is like the curved top of the lightsaber. This is like the button where they push and then it activates. And then I use, I made this curve using some hinges and some clips to make it stable. And that's all for the Kanduku lightsaber. This is Zay's lightsaber. It's a yellow one. He gets it in the last movie. He gets on Tatooine. So it's just this uh, box. And it wasn't there in Lego City. It's in one of the bank sets. And I used this Technic piece to put this Technic with hole in there. There's not much detail on this one, except I use this for my lightsaber. It's very useful on other lightsabers. If you're going to make one. This is Kylo Ren's lightsaber. It is my greatest one. So I just use some snot bricks to put the other blades. And snot stands for a stud snot on top. Which means there are also studs on the side. And I connected it all with an actual extender. And I used some gears and wheels for everything in the inside for more detail. And finally, this is Obi-Wan's lightsaber. It has the stop part and it breaks easily like that. Snobricks on Kylo Ren's lightsaber won't hold if you put another one of those on each side. So this one mostly has like uh, the like the curved level piece on top, and then I just use the upwards bracket for some detail. And this was the bottom, the satellite dish piece, it was a 4x4, and I made this image of the lightsaber erupting, or coming out. So now I'm going to show you how to build this one. These are the parts I'm going to show you how to build. So first, it's this part. This is called the hilt of the lightsaber. It uses a lot of colors, mostly transparent ones. And this grill piece, they usually just fit over here for the switch. And I'm also going to make the other part. And on the side, I put the optional part. If you're going to do some lightsaber play, or you're just wanting to make it look more like a real lightsaber. And that part includes a lot of special pieces. This part. So these are the first two pieces of the whole hilt. So first you'll need 
this 4x4 satellite dish piece and you have to connect it to this 4x4 sound piece with the hole in the middle. So I connect it. At first you add one side and then the other side just pops in if you press it. So you put three more of those and then you can put um, six more of those but I recommend three. Or if you have two of these four by four rounded bricks, you could use two of those. But if you only have one like me, you should use three of these. So when you put all of that on inside here, inside this hole, you have to put this uh, two by two. It has to be circular to fit inside. Otherwise it will get stuck. Or not just fit. So if you put it inside, it will all level up. If you push down on the regular hilt, it will be all right because the hilt is all equal. And that's what we're going to be building next. So, I'm just going to open up my model here. So I will explain it to you. So over here, I just put this one by two or two by two, whichever ones you have. And then I put this bracket and I put Z over here, and blue over here and green over here. And then I put this cheese wedge. And over here I put Z, green, and then I put this connector piece or hinge. For the handle or the switch, I use this bracket piece with the one by two hanging up out on the side and this grill and I just attach the door here. And then I continue building like this. when you're beginning because you might need to like turn it a little with some strength to find when it will connect. So then you take this piece, I explained it, if you don't remember it's a 4x4 four four satellite dish piece and you pop it over here. And you don't actually put another satellite this piece inside unless you want some more detail. But I think this is good. If you want, you can add some detail. I just don't have more satellite this pieces. Now we're moving to the second part. So I just for the next part, you just take a 4x4 and surround it with a layer of bricks. Or for it to be bigger, you can surround it with a layer of bricks and not keep a hole in the inside. I just didn't have enough pieces to do that. And then you just create a lot of 2x2s and place it on the opposite side where you put the hole. I don't really need to make a hole, it just, if you want to save some pieces, it won't be seen, but if you want to save them, you can just not put the thing. So over here, you just put the big line of 2x2s backwards, 
there. And the bottom is facing at the top. And you connect that to the hilt. If you press down for some time, it might break. Take it off if you need to. And if you press for some time and move it, it might just sometimes fit. If you took it off, you'll just need to pull it back the same way, like this. So for the last part, it's optional. You just need this piece, like the curved piece. And you use this Technic pins with the stud attachment and put it on this side. If you have four of them, you can put it like over here but i say it has to be blue for it to look blue because it's sticking out kind of for the thing and you attach it like this you can see this gap over here over here there's like a gap and it's supposed to fit on this circle is this an illegal building technique? No. It's not. I'm just explaining where it's supposed to be. Uh -huh. So you actually don't do this or anything like that. And there it is. The lightsaber. I made it look like the real Star Wars movies. I made this a long time ago and also there are some details on the outside if you make this at home you can see it's really fun to play with and bye guys subscribe to our channel for lots of more toys